Stico B here with some more let's bonding. I was trying to think about some other ways to, to do some less bonds aside from doing things like Akinator or, or Would You Rather. So I thought it might be a fun idea to try uh, reading people's comments. I've always thought you guys post a lot of really funny, really good comments. I try to respond to people's comments in uh, subsequent videos but I, I can't always get to around to like all of them. I think this would be a good way to sort of answer people's questions and also give a shout out to some of my favorite comments and things like that. So with that said, let's get started. Okay, how did people get here a half hour before the video got up? Morphogenetic fields. Morphogenetic fields. Morphogenetic, fine. Basically what's, what's happening, I, I see a lot of people like, like how are people doing that? And I was actually kind of baffled by it too because I, I sort of figured out that people were getting into the videos because I had added them to the playlist, usually before it's finished uploading. But I didn't understand how people were, were able to comment on it, because I couldn't do it. I, apparently, there's a way to do it where, like, if you go to, you type in, like, all, like, the video link, like, slash all comments or something, you're able to do it that way, but I haven't actually been able to do it that way. Like, it only works for, like, the mobile or something. So, <laughs> just, like, a select few of really committed, <laughs> committed, Penguins are always they're always the first ones to comment on the video before I do if I add it to the playlist Sometimes I like to sneak it up on you guys, you know, just to keep you on your toes fun facts The game doesn't tell you Hugh eats celery with peanut butter Eric cosplays Carlos brought a cat to prom because no one asked him out Sigma Sigma's dick is 18 inches erect. It's 19 inches minimum and can fold into the shape of a Sigma <laughs> Akane plays the Mahjong <laughs> Oh my god, that's fucking awesome. I don't know how much of that is shit you just came up with or if that's actually legit. Cause that would that would really be fucking funny if, if Uchikoshi actually had th that <laughs> those details for his characters. Sarah, does that really f seem like an important thing to include in the Yes! That's in their bio page. Alright, this is from the Seesaw Ice Cream video. Now you must bake bagels. <laughs> I've had a lot of you guys say that. You say I should do another one of those uh one of those cooking videos, but two with bagels. I don't know. I wonder if it, can I can I make my own bagel like from scratch? I I, I don't know. I don't know if I I don't know if I'm uh, a savvy enough cooker to actually do something like that. That'd be cool though <laughs> if I could if I could manage to do that. I think I'd probably be pretty hard. He has a face. Yes, I, I don't really show my face too often. Mostly because I, I feel like with most of the videos I do, there's really just no need to have like my facial face cam for like the entire game or something. I, if it's like a scary game or something, then I can kind of get it, or maybe like a rage game, but otherwise, I don't know. I think it just kind of gets in the way. It covers up more of the game, and I don't think you need to see what my face is at 100% of the time. Nico, you're slowly becoming my favorite YouTuber ever. I'm always so excited when I get a notification that you posted. You always make me laugh so much, and I love all your videos. I enjoyed this little video, uh, this video a little too much. I think we're gonna need a cooking with Nico series now. <laughs> oh, thank you. Uh, thank you, Caleb. I was trying to think like, what else could I do? I know there's, I know there's actually a channel that does like cooking stuff that specifically caters to things in like video games and I don't know, I think anime stuff. I don't really know if I'd do something like that, but I'm like trying to think what else, what, what else could I do? What else could I cook that would be enjoyable to watch and be somewhat relevant to what the games I'm playing are doing. Nico has officially become Kingdom Hearts trash, lol. I know, god dang it, I make myself sick. I can't even look myself in the mirror anymore. I don't know who that is. Who are you? Speaking of which, when I mentioned I got that uh, Sora action figure uh, that I mentioned in the last King Hearts video, some of you guys said you wanted to see it, so here it is, behold. It is. <laughs> yes, I know. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. But it's still fucking awesome. See, he's got the Star Seeker Keyblade. Yeah, limit form all the way. Limit form bullshit all the way. Yeah, I've never ordered one of the like a figure like this before, but I, I really like this one. I think it's cool. It's actually a Roxas one too, and I actually kind of want to get it because it's, it's sort of awesome. He's got it comes with the Oathkeeper and Oblivion Keyblades, and I'm just like, oh why, why? I've gone down the dark path. There's no turning back now. Yes, yes. Um, uh, I don't know why, but this comment in particular really made me laugh. I don't know. It was just so out of freaking nowhere <laughs> i think just like imagine someone just like sitting down the moment they see the video they just go yeah ah oh, bless <laughs> i don't know why but it really made me laugh why well, is no one mentioned that nico did this horribly wrong you're supposed to beat the x till it turns white and it has the consistency of whipped cream yeah i i had a few of you guys tell me that mentioned the video it's the first time i've ever actually 
split an egg before, um, <laughs> and uh, I didn't really do the best job. I actually got a little bit of the yolk in with the egg white. Gordon Ramsay, I'm not, but uh, it's all right. I, I feel like I've learned. I learned a little something, you know, not just about making ice cream, but about myself as well. That I'm probably not gonna be a professional cook at any time in my life. I'm a straight white male, but Nico, you're so fucking hot. Woo! <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I don't really get that very often. <laughs> I wouldn't say I'm the kind of like like hot guy or something. I don't think I'm an ugly guy, but I don't think I'm like, like, oh yeah, that Nico's smoking hot. I, I'd say I'm kind of like in between somewhere, you know? I guess it depends what your preference is, but uh, I've always sort of seen myself as fairly average. This is from the, uh, he's a pirate in the Kingdom Hearts 2 Let's Play. It was from right after I uh, first visited the Atlantis world. Well, maybe they wouldn't have sounded so bad if somebody didn't compose with big meaty claws. <laughs> oh my God, that's like, that's actually like my favorite episode of SpongeBob, you know? That, there's so many fucking funny, like, just laugh out loud moments in that one episode. That was one of my favorite fucking lines. <laughs> just like imagine yelling that to Sebastian. Oh no, you got to move with the rhythm. Maybe if, if some of us didn't compose with big meaty claws, it wouldn't sound so bad. <laughs> Fuck you, bro. Holy fucking shit, Nico. After this episode, the Kristoff voice needs to be a thing. Usually your voices tend to be more par parodic, so you say that par par parodic, and less serious, but today you really got his demeanor perfectly. You emphasized so many parts really, really well and handled his lines really according to Kristoff's character. I really enjoyed this finale. Thanks, Nico. Hey, thanks, man. Uh, yeah, you know, there's some characters that I like. I like their character, and uh, so I get really into doing their voices. The Kristoff was one. I got, he was a really good villain, I felt like. And another one was uh, Buzzo from the pain Lisa the Painful RPG. That was another one I kind of liked doing. I mean, I like doing all my voices, but uh, science is just kind of fun to be like one of those really evil sounding dudes, you know? Just some something different. Um, guys, any chance of him playing Azura's Wrath? Yeah, I've had you guys bring that up a few times before. I've seen it. It's like, it's like some super roid raging action packed game that's supposed to be like incredibly cinematic. I've thought about that. I don't know. That that does seem like one of those things I would pr pretty fucking pumped about. Some of you guys said that uh, some people are gonna like copyright things for it or something, so. But I might do it. It's a P I think it's PS3, right? <laughs> I might do it. I hear it's I hear it's not very long, and it's but it's pretty fucking epic. Guys, if Kameda has one Juko hand and her nails are red and the judge's wife's are red, that means Kameda is the wife. Como judge confirmed, guys. Yeah! You're without a doubt the best Let's Player I've ever watched. I've been on this site since 2007 and been into LP since 2010, but no one has ever ha been as fun to watch as you. It's only a fraction of a fraction of my respect for you, but I felt I need to give it you at least something. Thank you so much, a uh, Agaroff. I kind of wanted to point this one out too because I feel like there are times where people will I'll I'll realize someone had donated something, but I didn't I didn't notice it. I always try my best to to respond to anyone who makes uh, a donation or anything like that. YouTube is really bad about like notifying you about stuff like that. Uh, my inbox is so full of just the regular comments, you know, they just flood my inbox. So, so sometimes donation messages get buried along with all the other comments. I really don't like how YouTube sets up their, like their, the, the way the donations are done where it doesn't give you like a separate notification for donations. And also on that note, I also hate the way they set up their freaking PM system in this thing. It is like ridiculous. The only way you can tell, you know, if you send a message to someone, the only way you can tell if they replied to you is to look into your sent folder to look at the message that you sent. How much butt fucking sense does that make? I think it's implied that Goofy's wife is dead. Ooh, really? Shit. Some of you guys said you thought it was like the cow or something. That's like one of the old Disney uh, Disney characters. Like one of is like a somebody the cow. So does that mean that Max is like a cow dog hybrid or something? <sighs> yup, I like I like me some crossbreeding, baby. Mm. I greatly really look forward to birth, the birth by sleep, but there were so many observations of the second secret cutscene that I was expecting to make that he just didn't. So I saw a lot of comments like this after uh, the finale of Kingdom Hearts 2, and I, I was like, I, I didn't really understand what people were complaining about, so I went back and I rewatched it again, and then I saw, does the guy that gets frozen, and he's supposed to look like Roxas? Is that it? I actually sort of, that thought sort of crossed my mind a little bit when I saw him, but I, I mean, he didn't really get a very good look at him. He saw his face, but we can't really see his hair or anything. And I figured, okay, that wouldn't really make any sense. Why would he be there to begin with? So I didn't, I didn't say anything. I was like, okay, it, 
probably isn't him though but i guess it must be which, which i don't really understand but i guess we'll figure that out later anyway sorry for not noticing it the first time but i, I feel like the hair is really the hair is really always the telltale sign of of who of the character and i just couldn't see it not to mention it was fucking frozen i heard someone say that so far almost all of apollo's clients have been guilty of another crime phoenix made forged evidence good thing he wasn't caught Waki attempted murder for or held illegal fire, firearms. Maki for smuggling and Vera for making forgery. That's cool. That's actually an interesting observation. I didn't even that didn't even hit me. Shows that even the, the clients he's defending weren't really entirely innocent at all. Another thing I rather liked about that game. I'm not sure if I'm sad because this is not Zero Time Deloner or happy because this is Kingdom Hearts. It's quite the dilemma. <laughs> you know, I think if I if I see people saying that they're happy it's one video but not the other one, and then the next day they say they're happy it's that video but not the other one, I think that means I'm doing a good job <laughs> organization number zero poopo <laughs> i had to do that in my emma sky voice xemnas's boss oh my god that'd be so funny you see like you see xemnas walk in he bows down to the the lord almighty Koopo. i hear you've been fucking up some man sex i hear half of your fucking crew just died i'm sorry sir it wasn't my fault but no no butts we're gonna fucking pay for this shit. I'm gonna smack you in the face with a ball hanging over my head. I want to tell Nico to search Aku Roko so he can understand part of the fandom. But the question is, will he come out on the video unscarred? Well, let's see. Aku Roku. Oh, yeah. Whoa. 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 Oh, yeah. Um, whoa, they're digging deep. Oh, 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 God. Oh, oh, shit. Yeah, that's that. Oh, oh, no, no. Yeah, all right. Oh, all right. Wait, wait, like, I started from the top and I started scrolling down. And it, it started innocent enough and then it, oh, oh, it took a 180. It was like, never mind. Let's go down to Dirty Town. Lots of Axel and Rox. This, yeah, <laughs> Aku Roko. How is that? It doesn't even make sense. Axel and Rox is together. It'd be like, Axis Roxel? Why Raku Roko? What did the limit have to do with it? I unplugged my toaster when I'm not using it. I didn't realize that was a weird thing to do. Seriously? I I didn't realize that was a thing people did. <laughs> I just leave it plugged in. Some of you guys said it was like a big fire hazard to do that. Why? I I, I don't understand. I'm not cooking anything at it though. It's, it's not like it's not like I have it on all the time. Maybe they have different toaster types of toasters in different countries or something. So many things I don't know. Hey Nico, I've been wondering if people had a warning in the top of their comment that says this could be a spoiler. So if you don't want to be spoiled, don't read. And that spoiler could only be read if you click the read more button. Would it be okay if people did that instead of just outright spoiling it? Honestly, I don't like spoilers regardless. Even if you say big thing, spoiler alert or something. When I see a uh, comment on my dashboard, it doesn't take into account any of those spaces, so I can literally see the moment it, it'll say spoiler, and then I can immediately see what's written after that. So, not so, yeah, for me, I can also see a lot of times when it's that way. So, yeah, I just prefer just no spoilers. Although, I'll say it again, because I've mentioned it before, but there is a, an official Picky Penguin group on Steam. I'll leave a link to it in the description again, so if you want to check it out, but should have a group for, for pretty much all the series I'm doing. If you really feel like you want to spoil or talk about the games, or talk about spoilers in the game, you can go there and do it all the freaking hell you want. All right, tear it up. Let loose, go, ah, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. If the Funyarimpa is a picture of a French Bulldog and Bernie is a French Bulldog, Bernie is the Funyarimpa. I hate to tell you, but I think the Funyarimpa is actually supposed to be a Boston Terrier, although they do look very similar. They both have that sort of pointy ears, but should we make a Zero Escape drinking game? What, take a shot every time your mind gets fucked? I'm pretty sure I'd be dead by the end of this LP. I didn't watch any other LPs for this game, Nico. Nico Senpai, even after hours of waiting, I still waited for you. Are you proud of me, Senpai? Notice me, Nico Senpai! Yes, good. Good. Now, go slay anyone who did watch an LP before me. Go now. Kenny, don't, 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 don't really do that. I'm pretty deep into the game already, and my biggest piece of advice for you is make every choice and get every bad ending. Unlike the VLR, bad ends and game overs are pretty pod important and have some pretty neat details. Yeah, I noticed that when I got the, that uh, one bad ending with uh, Carlos, and I noticed that his, uh, they did just like a brief little scene where it showed that its parents probably died in a fire maybe that's why he decided to become a firefighter oh man i will say i really don't like going through the bad endings and despite that little bit of interesting the interesting tidbit it was a little was a little heartrending i feel like i'm not gonna make it through that game with, without needing some serious therapy at some point i actually found nico b because of 999 and now i'm actually now i'm watching the last volume of the series with the picky penguins yeah that's uh probably one of the first like first series that i i sort of do an outside of the 
uh, the RPG Maker games. It was definitely the first time I ever did the DS emulator because I remember I was trying to think to myself, how did I want to set up the uh, the, the two screens without it, you know, minimizing the details too much. But yeah, like that was one of the really early ones I did, and uh, a lot of the voices that I ended up coming up coming up with were uh, were made in that game. Like some of my favorite ones, like the Seven Voice, and uh, yeah, the Snake Voice. The Snake Voice was it was the original Tagami slash Edgeworth voice. That was Edgeworth Tagami voice before Edgeworth and Tagami. From Jupe's team, it's the 999 music, and for Sigma, it's VLR's music. They better play Morphogenic Sorrows or I'm gonna flip. I didn't even notice that. That's awesome. I could tell that I'd heard the music before, but I, I didn't recognize which games they were from. All right, guys. Well, I think that I'm gonna end it here for now. Um, I know this is a little different from what I usually do, but I think it's nice to mix things up sometimes. And uh, I, I don't know. I, I liked doing this. I, I liked, I feel like I was, uh, I felt closer to you guys reading all your comments and stuff. I also thought it'd be a good way to, to get a video in because I'm finding the 358 uh, over two days uh, takes a, me a bit longer than usual because I need to add in those cutscenes. And like I said, Camtasia hasn't really been very agreeable with making those videos. I have a lot of you guys ask me wh why I'm deciding to stick with Camtasia. It's, uh, there's actually a few things that Camtasia does do that uh, Premiere either doesn't do or just doesn't do as well. Honestly, they're coming out with a 64-bit version of Camtasia in the, like, supposedly before the end of the year. Um, if it is, you know, if they end up getting it, getting it out, I swear that will solve, like, 90% of the problems I have with Camtasia. Here's hoping that comes out, that comes out soon and that it uh, works all right. <laughs> anyway, let me know if you guys want more of uh, videos like this. Uh, I had a lot of fun and uh, I definitely wouldn't mind doing some more. <laughs> I also don't mind doing more like a, a you know fun little cooking video thing, but I have to kind of figure out what to cook. I, I don't know. I guess I could do bagels, but I don't know if I'm quite there. I don't know if I'm good enough cook to make like a bagel from scratch or something. Or I could just open a bag of bagels and just throw it in a toaster. And then I'll unplug the toaster for all you unplugging toaster people out there. But anyway, like for if you enjoyed. Subscribe now if you're not already. Become Pinky Penguin aboard the SLP, where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. Anyway, as always, guys, till next time, stay classy.